Costco. We're at Costco and the line is all the way at the end of the building, okay? Look at this. 12, 13, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 60, and then the line loops around. That's how it is. Oh my God. All right, without exaggerating, there is a line with over 100 people in it waiting for Costco. 100 people in this line. Okay, the line is so bad and everybody's walking around with either a full body suit on or uh i mean it's ridiculous or shorts and shoes and nothing it's complete oxymoron of everything the reverse polar opposite really i mean come on so that is costco just for those that ask you get a first hand look of what's happening in calabasas westlake village area all of them migrating this way okay now i was speaking with john yesterday in malibu and he said that there's over 50,000 people and then i went on the news and it verified the sources between 50 and 100,000 people have just invaded malibu no one knows why yeah, it's spring break, sure. For what? For COVID virus? I mean, so actually the mayor went on and he spoke and he said, look, we're a very small town and we don't have the uh, capacity to, you know, to do it, to hold all these people. And I totally get it, man, I do. Because when I'm like watching people that are arguing over a line of food come on man you know we got people that now you don't even know where they came from and this is the truth guys at Vaughn's 15 employees were just hired out of the 15 two are residents of the Thousand Oaks Canino Valley area two one from Malibu one from Newberry Park I know this intel because I know the manager of the store personally, so I get pretty much told what's going on here. Now, when I asked him why did they hire all these people, meaning what was the point of it, he said, Robert, we're hiring these people because there's going to be a shortage of employees. Now. Does that make sense? Because it doesn't, what I just said. I mean, I could hear what I was saying, and it's like a shortage of employees. Here we go again. You know, are we already predicting the end of the world? Because why would you be hiring people to work at a grocery store with your intent behind it is your motivation is a shortage a shortage of workers due to the COVID virus. They're going to all be sick. Well, have you gone into a store lately, guys? Have you seen the way it is with the glass now, the plexiglass? You can't even speak to the person in front of you. Okay? It's that bad. In Vons, they make you wait in one line, six feet spaced out, at Ralph's, they only let 50 people in the store at a time with a clicker. At Best Buy, they shut it. I couldn't even go and buy my computer yesterday. I was told, oh, we can't do that. You know, you're going to have to uh, order it online. And I mean, I don't even need to tell or uh, mention the fact that more than half of us do not even know how to use these computers. We're computer illiterate due to the fact of the millennials. Millenniums. What do they call David? Millennials, mama? Millennium. Millennials. She don't want it. It's millenniums, I think. You, got, you know what I mean. 
anyway they're the ones that ruined it for the prescriptions at the pharmacy at the doctor all you Millennials that's what you did you went out 19 years old telling a doctor that you're uh, crippled or whatever mind you if you go out in the back you see a guy with a baseball bat hitting people in the back just to you know show that they had an injury this is the truth I could not believe it just to get narcotics okay what is going on that's the question one must ask themselves when you have lines you've got Best Buy shutting you got Costco with over a hundred people in that line no exaggeration what what are we waiting for guys seriously I mean ask yourselves that one question today what is the one thing that you could do not for yourself but for others that would make all of this easier on you as a family on you as a person what is the one thing that you can do today besides we know staying away from everybody staying inside that's what you got to ask yourselves you guys okay how many times can you look at a show how many times can you you know turn on the television to see the update not many but the one thing that I can say that you can do that you'll be feeling a lot better about yourself and a lot better for the whole world is don't go into the you know I'm gonna buy toilet paper or let me go get a gun and I don't even know how to use it don't do that be the one thing that works the right way and that is you you working as a person as a unit together as a whole because a lot of times a family is only as strong as the one person in it and that is either going to be the male or the female but whomever it is that they look up to and that they follow they listen to for guidance for whatever it may be protection that is what everyone should be concentrating on this day this Saturday that we have no different than the other Saturday except we're waiting and when you ask yourself what are we waiting for? That's when you say, what can I do that would make this a lot easier on myself, on my family, and on others that are around me or participate in the life or lifestyle that I have or we have chosen for our family? Now, <laughs> I would recommend going on a walk, getting your kids, all of you, go around the block as a family, take the time, say, what can I do today that will make a difference tomorrow? Maybe sharing a little bit of herb with someone that doesn't have it. Maybe kicking someone down a pill, no matter if it's a Tynol or a glorified Tynol. We all know what glorified Tynol is. It's an orco. It's a lower tap. Vicodin. I mean, let's get a break. There are the two types. Opiate tolerant, non-opiate tolerant. Just like the ones that can tolerate the stress of a pandemic, the world ending and those that don't. 
the ones that follow or the ones that lead? Who are you? That's what you need to say today. What can you do today that's going to make that difference? Are you going to be in that line like I just showed everyone? Are you? Or are you going to be the one that's at the head of the line? Because you already took the time. You discussed what you needed to do. And throughout the whole week, you did little by little and got everything you needed instead of hoarding. Seriously, hoarding. All right? Now, I know this is a little bit off for me just to come on and do this, but you guys are starting to know me now. What is normal? Really, I'm off all the time because that's what makes us all unique in our own way. I appreciate everybody. Thank you very much for your support, your inspiration. I have been, like I said, working on the new storyline. It is going to be probably one of the best. I would, I will honestly say, for my own sake, that this will be in the top 10. Because it is so true. You can taste it. The fact that there will be others that will say, God, I was there. I remember being, oh yeah. That's where the word that is spoken is either going to be listened or heard or ignored. Now, I don't intend to have anybody be ignored, whether by one's own self or by means of just natural progression. However, I'm going to make it to where you could relate to that and say, man, I remember doing that or that happened to me. He did that to me too or she did that to me. I want that. You know why? Because then I know I did one thing, one thing that was right. Not today that will make the difference, but every day, every day. No matter if you have to get up in that morning and take a little shot of booze or whiskey, take your hit, take your little puff, whatever it is that makes it to where you are a functioning person, not a burden. We don't want to be burdens, okay? I know that. No one does. You don't want to be to where you're in a hospital and being pushed from one room to the other and escorted here or there. No way. Nobody does. Nobody. I thought about this before I posted or I mean recorded it because I've been listening to a lot of people, a lot of different YouTubers out there, you know, with their pages and you know, like Ryan Leone, love him. He's the guy that got me going to where people are saying, wow, Robert, why don't you do this sooner? Did, what did it have to take some convict, 33-year-old little punk kid to do it for you? Well, maybe. But at least that 32, 33-year-old punk kid has his shit together enough now to where nobody can say, hey, I didn't do this or that. No, you wasted your time. You wasted your talent. Well, he decided not to. So that's where I pick up the pieces here and say thank you. Really, thank you, Ryan Leone. Leone? Leone. It kind of cracks me up. You're a drug addict, okay? Get it together, man. Love you, dude. Seriously. <laughs> I mean... You guys got to look at some of his stories and get get it from the beginning. Don't just hop on in the mix and then go, oh, yeah, nah. Because I'll ask you a question and can you answer it? See, there you go. But thank you to him, definitely. He just lives up 
very close to me. He's from Santa Barbara, but I didn't know he lives right here in L.A. Ryan, I'd definitely like to get a hold of you. Sit down and talk. Discuss a few things. Um, there's a lot there that's a couple decades off, but a few, let's just say, very close parallels, okay? And then, you know, I'd like to thank all the other ones, too. Like this little kitty here, Mr. Miyagi, who's your babas? He just comes by. He's like the little kitty, you know, that my friend Pete over here. He doesn't mean it, but he's a young guy. He goes out, and this poor cat fucking guy is out here, you know, at night, 32 degrees out. Ha, huh, Miyagi. Say hi to everybody on YouTube. Huh? Go, my name's Miyagi, and I got black nuts. Look at those balls, man. Yeah. That guy's hung like a Trojan, like a racehorse, you know? That's Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi! Yeah, he's a good cat. <laughs> anyway, you guys, just want everybody to be happy today, man. That's all. So, let's carry this day. Let's carry on and make it. Because we can do it, all of us. Remember, together we become one as a strong. But alone, you're nothing but an island waiting to be inhabited. Subscribe, like, post a comment. Definitely check out Ryan's page. Um, on my iPhone, so I'd love to put the, you know, link for the description, but I'm sure you guys can find it. And, uh, you know, do something, like I said. One thing that you can say that you did, and I guarantee you'll feel a lot better. Until then, fun, ghoul.